Hello there, this is Stephen Ball and in this video we're going to be looking at how we can use the Azure Cloud and the Cognitive Services to be able to use the text to voice feature that allows us to convert some text into an audio file that we can then play. Now the sample for this and all the units that wrap up the entire Cognitive Services areas that I've managed to touch in so far are available on my GitHub account which is delphiable forward slash Azure hyphen Cognitive hyphen Services. So if we jump in here, this is the Azure portal. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the speech services added. Uh, if they don't show in the list here, you can just create a resource and, and add it on. And once you've got the resource added, uh, you just need to go into the resource. And under the keys and endpoints, there's two things you need. First of all, you need to make note of the region. And secondly, just copy either the first or second key, uh, it doesn't matter which one, and, and you can use that then to authenticate and access the API. So the classes that we're going to be using are all found in the Azure API 3 speech units that are part of the GitHub repository. And so if we're going to have a look at the text-to-speech The text-to-speech unit uh, provides an instance of this uh, text-to-speech class uh, and that allows you to build either text-to-speech where you pass in some text and then get the output memory stream which you save then down as uh, an mp3 file for example um, or you can do a raw text-to-speech. Now the difference here is the raw text-to-speech provides in uh, output from this Azure text builder. Uh, and this is converting uh, kind of a, an XML format, um, a markup format that is used by um, the, the API to be able to provide multiple languages, uh, sorry, multiple voices in the same command, so the same audio file. So in here, if you want to do that, you can create an instance of this as your text builder and then just add the lines of text with the specific voice that you want to use and then you can run that through. Uh, in terms of getting the, the voices, there's a, a unit here to get the speech voices. And here you can create an instance of this um, against the region that you, you're selected for uh, and they're just called the function for voices and that will return back an array of the different voices if they're male, female, if they're neural or if they're just standard voices um, so you can got some quite you know, rich information to choose from there um, and there's also kind of styles and role playlists and bits like that that are available to, to pick up on uh, and inc including that is kind of a locale so if you wanted to have a, a German voice or an English voice or a Spanish voice you can pick out from the voices return the specific ones you want uh, and then, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and, and use those, pass them in. So that kind of gives you a, a quick overview of all you need to be able to use. Uh, let's have a quick look at it in action. So this is the, uh, the sample application. I've copied my API key in here and selected my region from the, the drop down list of different regions. Uh, one tip when you're using the sample, just save the configuration once you put it in and then next time you run it, it'll automatically load that back in, saving you have to go and copy it every time. So text-to-speech, uh, in here I'm going to choose the region, um, which uh, is already set for, for North Europe. Uh, and here I'm going to say, right, let's pick out... Um, these are all the voices that come back from my region access, um, from the, uh, ac you know, asking that regional uh, server for the voices that I can use. So I'm going to say here, let's have some uh, Susan uh, and maybe uh, Ryan to ask the second bit. Uh, and if I hit say joke now. Why did the turkey cross the road? I don't know. Why did the turkey cross the road? Because the chicken was self-isolating. Okay. Uh, maybe not the best joke in the world, but... Uh, it shows the point of being able to use the multiple voices. So let's have a quick look at the code underneath in the frame here. So the frame that is used here is the text-to-speech frame. 
here we can just see those classes uh, being used. So the first one here is the text to speech class, which is created for the region. Uh, and then we've got the text builder uh, and then just checking for each line of text and then adding it in with the combo box uh, value for the voice and the text that's going to be used. Uh, and then just using the raw text to speech call to be able to create the instance uh, and then just uh, creating the file name and then just saving the output to file. Uh, it's simple as that and then being able to play it by putting it to the media player. So really, really straightforward and easy to kind of be able to create uh, text to voice uh, and even complex text to voice with multiple voices. So I hope you've enjoyed that. As I say, um, do head on over to uh, GitHub and download the sample from the Azure Cognitive Services um, and uh, happy playing, happy coding.